Hi friends, if you are a WordPress developer, you might be having multiple WordPress sites to manage, to control. All the times we need to put the login credentials to login and access the WordPress admin panel. And it becomes difficult to manage multiple websites and keep remember remembering all the credentials for multiple websites. How we can get rid of all these difficulty, how we can create one user that can handle multiple websites, multiple WordPress website, of course. Yes. So we are going to talk about in this video, how to sync users and logins between multiple sites. So with one user, you can handle multiple website, multiple WordPress websites. So you have to create a one user. You have to remember only one user and you are going to control multiple WordPress website with the feature that we are going to discuss in this video. So managing multiple WordPress sites can be complicated, but it does not have to be. With the share logins, you can automatically sync user activities across your multiple WordPress websites from simple task code. Okay. So what we can target? It is simple, but very useful feature that every developer should have. And it is going to make our task easy when we are managing multiple WordPress websites. So what we can target? Uh, with a single login. Once a user login into one site, they will be automatically logged into another site without having to re-enter their credentials. This is very important. And if user one profile is updated, another will be updated. If one is logged out, another will be logged out. Another all, not only one. If one password is reset, all will be resetted. And if one user is created, new users will be added. And if one user is deleted, all new, all the users will be deleted from the, the same user will be deleted from the all sites. And this is really going to be amazing. I am going to show you how it is working. So this is one instance. This is one website, WordPress, and this is another WordPress website. So I'm going to log in to its admin panel. And I must tell you, don't get confused. This is instance number 27. And the another website is having instance number 21. So these are two different websites. Similarly, there might be different and multiple websites. So I'm just taking a reference just to show you only two websites. And I'm showing you how the complete share login system works and how I'm going to synchronize one user at multiple WordPress website. So I'm going to log in at WP admin for this first instance. So WP admin, uh, it is instance number 27. Just be careful. And I'm putting the credentials here. Okay, so I'm not sure. Try. Okay, so I just put the credentials and now I'm logged in here logged in here at the first website what happens to next i'm logged in and here it is not logged in but i'm going to refresh this yet not logged in but now it is logged in automatically i did not put any credentials here and it is now logged in and here i can access the dashboard of other site to repeat I'm going to log, da, log out from this website. And now I'm going to refresh this page again. It is logged out as well. The activity that I did here, the replicating, I mean the login activity that I did here at the first instance, it is getting replicated automatically on another site. I'm repeating so that you may be very confident before we proceed for the rest of the settings, the rest of the features. So I'm logging again and we'll put the credentials at one website. Now 
logged in. It is not logged in. And I'm going to refresh this. In a while, it is automatically logged in. So this is amazing feature. And similarly, we can have multiple websites to control with a single user. So you have to make one user that will work at multiple WordPress website. This is the objective. And I'm using this shared logins WordPress plugin. This is amazing plugin. I have already shown you the features that we, we can target using this plugin. And you can buy this plugin through the video description. And the original developer are code expert. And the na plugin name is shared login. Now I'm taking you to the backing of this first instance. This can be uh, considered as master instance. So nothing in master, all on master in fact. So we can have all the controls at multiple websites. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll show you the configuration screen. This is 27 and I have the remote sites mapped here. 21. So this is 21 and uh, on the vice versa, I am going to show you the screen here and uh, see your logins here, configuration. Here I have 27. So here 27 and here 21. So it is connected vice versa. Remote sites for this first instance, the remote site is going to be this one, another site. And for this site, the remote site is going to be first site. So similarly, we can add multiple websites, multiple WordPress site as we need. And if we are checking the configuration, so this button can help. And this is showing what is connected here. Like this site is added to the remote site. Uh, secret keys in both sites match. So these are requirements as well. License is activated on the local site. License is activated on remote site. So what we have to do, so you can see the uh, current site, this is the current site and this is the remote site, all is synced here, login, logout, create user, update user, delete user. And what we have to do, I am going to show you, but yes, uh, I'm going to show you the connectivity screen as well. Like this is the connectivity screen that, where we can manage the things what we wish to do at remote site. If you are making a master site, you can control or other. And if you are willing to make all the sites as master sites, so you can allow all the permissions to all. So I have allowed all the permissions to all the users. My, I mean, one user that I have created for syncing. So this is login, logout, create user and all. So what I have did, it is, it steps are very simple. We just need to have this plugin. And of course you can buy this plugin at codeexport.io and the link is given in the description itself. Next, we have to install, listen carefully, don't skip any part of this video because it is, uh, I'm making this video for your convenience and if you are skipping any part of the video, it is going to make your task difficult. So what you have to do at the very first step, you have to install the plugins at both website or multiple website that you want to control through a single user, right? Install the plugins everywhere that you want to control. At the next step, you have to create one user or you have to use same user everywhere. So I have created a, a user named shared logins and the username and the email is same. And I have given the administrator role to this user. The same user I have created on this site. However, user can also be created through the remote control. I mean, through the remote website when the connection is completed, but I have created the user separately. I mean the same user at this website as well, but I must repeat the thing. You can create users as well in the configuration screen. You can create users like create user option is also here. If you enable this feature, the user will be created. And for that, if you are willing to migrate all the users on your uh, site, I mean on first site to another all sites, so you can export users as well. You can select the user roles and you can click on export users and further you can import users to another site by accessing the downloaded file. So like if I am exporting the user, it sends a CX file, it downloads a CX file and further I can 
import users, the exported users to another site. Main, main thing is connectivity. So once we create the same user and when, once we have same user at all the sites that we want to control, we can enable the permissions here like login, logout, create user, update user, delete user or reset password. These are the permissions that we can control at every website and user roles can also be decided. So what user roles you want to control, like if you are administrator, uh, so you can control for administrator and you can remove the rules as well. So like uh, if you are not willing to give this permission to author or contributor or subscriber, of course, you may remove these users as well. But yes, uh, in the remote sites, we can simply check this once we have all the things same, like same key. Just in case if you have any trouble, so I must tell you the secret key. So don't use this secret key. This is for me and I'm showing you this does not mean you are going to use the secret key. You have to match the secret key everywhere. In all installation, you have to make this secret key. And you, if you want to enable the log, so every activity will be logged and you can save the setting and the all user activity will be logged now. So you, you will see all the details like activity logs you can check like these are the logs. I, I am not using, I have just installed the plugin so there is no log but yes the log will be connected here. Coming back to the configuration screen, repeating the things. This is the remote site from 27 I have connected the 21 and it is connected with the same user at the both end and I can check the connections using this button all is green here so what permission I have given and for the connectivity control we have this screen for user migration or user import option this is the screen migrate site and further we have settings to match all the uh, secret key and the enabling log and even report can be seen here it is a simple and very effective plugins and the plugin is shared login. So and through this plugin, once you install this plugin, you can have only one user for multiple WordPress websites. So simply the objective is to synchronize a single user for all your WordPress website and you are going to control all the web website. Once you log into one site, you are going to log in, in all the sites that you are willing to control that you are controlling. Means once you logged in at very first site, website, you have just to open the another site and it will be logged in in a second or second or two. So it is amazing thing. And it is going to make uh, our task, our controlling and management task easier. And I am sure you are going to use this plugin. So there are free versions, free options for this plugin as well. This is paid plugin and you can see the pricing here. So mm -hmm. I am willing to collect some plugins. I am willing to show some plugins that can be available free as well. So I am in the next video, might be in the coming videos, I will bring another solution for shared logins or this purpose that can be free as well. But yes, this is amazing and you can get this plugin through the link and this is code export coming from the code expert.io and in the coming videos, I'm going to bring more solutions for you. I'm sure you have already subscribed this channel and if not, please subscribe this channel and hit the bell button. I'm really bringing all the important things that you need for your WordPress website. Keep watching, keep building. Thank you.